I had sex with over 100 women by using the line. Why haven't we had sex yet? That's direct. I guess that's implying that that's like a good line. I mean, I get it. Those women were thirsty. But I know many girls who it would work on. Cutting through the bullshit. But it seems to take a bit of the romance out of it. And smart girls want to be told they are pretty. Pretty girls want to be told they are smart. Yeah, that one's not chill. Everyone thinks they are a constellation of all traits. I'm pretty and smart, and I want to be told both. Compliments are wonderful things, so spread them around, gentlemen. It's the perfect opener is... Tell me, are you as interesting as you look? That's like an abominable opening. I think it's a good opener. No! I picture them wearing like a velvet blazer with like thinning hair. He, he can have my number, casually. <laughs> Not needing an opener is the best opener. I'm a little cordy in that, like, I don't mind a nickname like, hey ma, hey boo. I mean, I'm down with why haven't we had sex yet. For the love of God, please manscape. <laughs> yes, that is a very valid statement. Okay, sure. But also, like, who cares? Man manscape if it's, like, weird. It can't look like buckwheat down there. If you expect us to, you must as well. If he's really manscaped, um, and he's not a swimmer, I want him to be a little gross because that's manly. If a girl doesn't respond to me, I walk away permanently. Messaging twice in a row, like that is a needy as fuck. And is only going to creep girls out. I'm torn on this, Chris. I'm torn. You can't force attraction. That's true. But then, like, my high school boyfriend was a guy who I was, like, not into all freshman year and then sophomore year. He, like, just kept trying, and I was, like, madly in love with him. I like persistence, though. Only difference between someone being creepy and cool is if you're attracted to them or not, and that's it.